Okay, so here we're told that a hot air balloon is tied to the ground with two taut straight ropes as shown in the diagram below. So I just, you know, here's the hot air balloon, and I always like to just draw out what they're saying so I can keep track of the problem. So the two taut ropes are these two lines right here. And they tell you one rope is tied directly under the balloon and makes a right angle with the ground. Right, so here's your ground. So the rope they're talking about is making this right angle here, right? And the other forms a 50 degree angle with the ground, so that's this angle right here. We want to know what is the height of the balloon. Well, work with what you have, because here we're dealing with um, right triangles. We're given us the side length here of 110 and the angle here. So if you're only given an angle and a side length, that means you need to use either sine or cosine or, or tangent. So I'm using my SOHCAHTOA acronym here. That helps me remember uh, sine ratio is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? And tangent is um, opposite over adjacent. And that just means that um, when I look at my angle, I realize I don't have the opposite, but that's what I want to find. So I'm going to try and use one of the ratios that deals with the opposite. So either sine or tangent. Cosine only deals with adjacent and hypotenuse. And adjacent here would be the ground. We're not dealing with that here. Um, and then I realized, that, okay, well, what do they give us? They give us the 110. Well, that's the hypotenuse. So they're giving us the opposite side to find, and they're giving us the measurement of the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use sine, because the sine of the 50-degree angle would be equal to the opposite, which I'll refer to x, over the hypotenuse, which is 110. So here we're trying to find x. So I multiply both sides by 110, and 110 times the sine of 50, right? That's going to equal x. So on our graphing calculator here, fix this. Make sure under mode that we're in degrees, which we are here, second quit. Okay, so we have 110 times the sine of 50, and here we get about 84.26 and they want it to the nearest foot, so it's 82 feet above the ground. Right? We're just rounding that number, 82, oh, 84.26, so 84.26 is just 84 feet. All right, hope that helps.